Jerry Spook Tree. Grover Spad Awful Day by Anna H. Dixon. Illustrated by Tom Brannan. Featuring Jim Henson's Sea Same Street Muppets. One morning, Grover slept late. Oh my goodness, he said, jumping out of bed. I will be late to play group. As he ran to the bathroom, he stubbed his furry toe. Ouch, he said. That's smart. Grover squeezed toothpaste onto his toothbrush, but it fell off before it got to his mouth. Then he bumped the toothpaste cap off the edge of the sink, and it bounced down the drain. Then he calmed his fur, and the calm caught in the tangles. The more it pulled, the more it hurt. Oh dear, said Grover. At breakfast, Grover poured milk on the table instead of on his monster berry crunch. Take your time, dear, said his mommy. So he did, and he wasn't ready when Harry came to walk with him to play group. Mommy kissed him. Goodbye, my little Grover. Do not forget your lunch, she called as she rushed off to work. And wear your rubber boots. It is going to rain. Oh no, Grover said to Harry. I do not want to wear my rubber boots. They go galump, galump, while I walk. And I do not want it to rain. Grover and Harry were late to play group. Show and tell had already started. They had to walk in front of everybody to find a place to sit. Oh, I am so embarrassed, thought Grover. During art, Grover made a picture of Barkley, but he drew his head too big. He tried again, but this time he drew his legs too long. He drew Barkley again and colored him, but when he cut out the picture, he cut off Barkley's tail by mistake. Grover tore up the picture. It did not look like Barkley anyway, he said. During Alphabet, Grover forgot what comes after Q. Grover, said Miss Tiki. You are having a bad day. During music, he tried to honk his nose like the honkers, but it didn't make a noise. Try blowing a fur face, ha <laughs> ha, said Oscar. In the park at playtime, Grover saw the mighty monsters playing tackle football. Oh, may I please play too? He asked. Please, may I? You're too little, said Monty, the biggest monster, and the other monsters laughed. I did not want to play football anyway, Grover grumbled. At lunchtime, Grover reached into his cubby for his cute little lunchbox, but it was not there. Oh no, cried Grover. I forgot my lunch. Grover, said Betty Lou. My mom always makes me an extra sandwich in case I'm extra hungry. You might have it. But I like peanut butter and jelly, he wailed. That's what I have, said Betty Lou. Terrific, said Grover. Thank you, Betty Lou. But when Grover took a bite, he made a face. Yutch, he whispered to Harry. Betty Lou's mommy put strawberry jelly in her sandwiches. My mommy always gives me grape. Strawberry has seeds. Grover, said Harry, you are having a bad day. I am having a bad, awful day, said Grover. After playgroup, Grover and Harry stop at the ice cream truck. Grover ordered a grape ice cream cone. He took such a big first bite that he knocked the ice cream right off the cone, plop onto the sidewalk. And then it started to rain. I knew it, cried Grover. I am having a bad, awful day. So, galump, galump, Grover and Harry ran home in the rain. They ran until suddenly Grover stopped. Harry, he said. I cannot move! My rubber boot that my mommy made me wear because of the rain is stuck to the sidewalk! You must have stepped in some gum, Grover, said Harry. Every time Grover put down his boot, it stuck to the sidewalk again. And every time his boot stuck, Grover got madder. This is ridiculous, he yelled. Mommy! Grover left his boot stuck to the sidewalk and stomped home in one boot. 
I had a bad, awful day. Grover told his mommy as soon as he got home. I was late to play group, and the big monsters won't let me play with them. And I forgot that R comes after Q. My nose went honking music, and my ice cream fell on the sidewalk, and now it is raining. Where's your other boot, Grover? His mommy asked. Grover sat in his mommy's lap and told her everything. Then he began to cry. My bad awful day made me feel bad and awful. She gave him a hug. Bad days happen to everyone, she said. When one happens to you, just keep doing your best and never let a bad day make you feel bad about yourself. She rubbed his furry head dry with a towel. Come on, dear, let's go get your boot. Grover and his mommy walked back to get his boot. Mommy unstuck it and cleaned off the gum. She poured out the water and dried it inside so Grover could put it on again. Then mommy took Grover to Hooper's store and ordered two grape ice cream sodas. Grover's friends were there. Hey Grover, Monty Monster called to him. Tomorrow we're going to play tickle football instead of tackle football. It's not dangerous. You want to play? Oh sure, Monty, I will be there, said Grover. I think tomorrow will be a better day. Thanks for watching!